Good morning, everybody. Pastor Rick here, Broadman Baptist Church. This is the Broadman Word for 10 May 2021. Coming to you out of the devotional Radical Wisdom. And today we're talking about hope, but hope not being a strategy. Kind of an interesting uh, look at things. You know, many of us sort of hang out on this edge of um, optimism, um, but perhaps tinged with a little bit of carelessness. And uh, we always uh, want for things and tend for things. You know, uh, there'll be some day or I'll figure something out. Um, I've said that probably more times than I should have. And so sometimes um, we don't approach our Christianity with a workable plan with the intentionality um, that it requires. And so we are left uh, with the hoping for things. And hope uh, is great. It's not a strategy, though. Um, when we see somebody in a bad situation or uh, even a bad situation that's potentially getting worse and they don't seem to understand where they are or that maybe even things are what they are. Um, there is no initiative or no sense of urgency about them. They're just sort of hanging out in the midst of um, some coming destruction, but not really knowing what to do with it or maybe even realizing that things aren't going well. And so they are then just left with hope, hope in the random events of the world that things are going to turn out okay or that everything's um, not going to require as much intentionality and input as perhaps most of us would apply to difficulties. Well, it can be that way in our spiritual walk as well. We can be in a not good situation and maybe not even realize it. Um, we can maybe even be in a situation that's getting worse um, and not have the kind of plan and intentionality that we should have about it. We are left hoping that things are going to be fine and that you're going to be fine and that um, what you're doing is going to be blessed. Now, we need to be careful here and not knock hope. It is one of the most marvelous concepts in the Bible. Um, and it is necessary uh, because if somebody is without hope or lose hope, um, that can lead to serious depressive episodes and unfortunately even sometimes suicide. So we don't want to not use hope or not have hope. And we certainly don't want to downplay it. Um, that word hope is actually in the Bible 133 times. And of all the gifts that God gave human beings, hope um, probably is right up there at the top. Hope in, in who he is, his promises, his fulfilled promises, hope in Jesus um, and the protections that we have from being followers of Jesus and the uh, love and fulfillment we have from being disciples of Christ and uh, having hope in the new heaven and new earth and uh, Christ coming to reign again. So hope is pretty critical, but it's not a strategy. Um, we can't be left just simply, folks, hoping for something to happen. Uh, in the context of living and leading a life, uh, particularly in the day-to-day -day application of the principles that we have to live, live our life by, Hope's not enough. Uh, we need to get out of the hopeful position, the hopeful state, and focus on some sort of action, on some sort of plan, on some with intentionality and uh, moving forward with things and uh, mostly uh, focusing on what God's will is and what God is telling us to do, what God would have us become and move uh, instead of being stuck and hopeful. So what do you hope for? Um, and then maybe a secondary question. What do you hope for, but maybe don't do so good at facing up to or having a plan for? You know, God gives us a lot of things. We have uh, the ability to think. We have physical strength. Uh, we have quite a bit of mental capacity, the ability to form thoughts and plans and uh, then enact those thoughts and plans. 
uh, he gives us uh, through gifts of the spirit uh, tools to make use of all this mental capacity that we have and he does also give us patience and self-control he also reminds us that we can do all things through christ who strengthens us so what is left for us to do then is to act on the things that we hope for not to simply have hope not to simply be hopeful these are wonderful things but without action that's where it stops that's all it is is hope decide on a step you can take decide on a way forward what you can do this very day what can i what can i plan what kind of intentionality can i apply to my day and to these things that i hope for and then uh, formulate that and use the strength of Christ that we have with the tools that you are given and move forward. You don't need um, some big, complete, all-encompassing strategy. You don't need some sort of sophisticated solution. You just need a desire to move beyond hope and into action and implementation. In that way, we can begin to see a difference, not only in our lives, um, but in the lives of those that we touch with the plan that we have for the things that we hope in. Listen, I want you to try to stop lagging behind in your action plan. Um, have hope, be hopeful, but then add to it an action plan intentionality movement and go forward in the lord in this way we can make a big difference in the kingdom we can see things change in this world if we just do what we're supposed to do and then trust god to be god hey i love you i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time